All right. Let me close my closet door. Let's get up. <laughs> I just want to do a quick little update just because it's been like forever since I've uh, uploaded a video. Like my whole, as you can see my room is, is different. So my mom came and changed it. But I just wanted to do a quick update. I did upload a video like a month ago and then I, I put it on private because I just didn't want to delete it. But I took it down because I wanted to, I, what I was talking about, I knew I was going to have more to add to it. So I just, uh, I was going to edit it and put it like back together at the new stuff that I was talking about. But then I just kind of, I didn't because I kind of realized, well, first of all, I was still dealing with the stuff that I knew I was going to add on to it. And then it was like, I don't know. I want to do different things on youtube like I, and also i know i said that i was gonna continue the walking dead series no matter what but i didn't i stopped playing the game altogether i might bring that back but i just i don't know i've been thinking about youtube so i want to do something different like 2021 i feel like it's gonna be the year where i'm really like experimenting like i really want to experiment and do more and this video is going to be like the first kind of test run of that just to see how I do well not really how I do but how I feel about it or I would say the reception but I'm kind of not I'm not really trying to work based on other people because I've been doing that a lot that's why I've been I ain't gonna say holding myself back but that's why I haven't really been uploading a lot of stuff or like now I'm at the place where it's like I don't really feel like talking about everything going on in my life like I remember I first started YouTube, I would talk about a lot of different things. I made videos like daily, pretty much very consistently. And I've been thinking about like videos I posted like last year when I was going through my, I ain't gonna say my awakening to my depression, but basically me thinking about my depression and all the different things I've been going on with that and the type of videos that I posted. And it's like, I don't regret those videos at all because it was, like I said, I want this channel to be me going through different things. You see where I've been, where I'm going, stuff like that. But it's like, I don't want to keep making videos like that. That's why I kind of got burned out making YouTube videos. Because it's like, hey, something else is wrong with me. Here it is. And long rants or whatever. I'm not really trying to make this intro too long. Because I want to get into what I plan on doing. And I don't know how long that's going to take. Considering this is my first time. But I cut my hair. I think I'm going to keep it low this time because I'm really, a lot of people seem to be liking my low hair and I like it. If I feel like it fits. I did not put my ring back on because that's part of the aesthetic of myself. I'm basically getting back to, well, I'm trying to find myself and express myself better going forward because I've seen where I've been going. Well, I've seen where I've been at. I've seen where I was going this year. I've been kind of brought down and then I'm slowly moving up. Like I'm going back up. So I'm just trying to best express myself and do do different things. I'm trying not to let my anxiety really mess up or hold me back from a lot of things. I'm not trying to let my depression stop me from having fun and, you know, living my life. Because I'm 23 years old and I haven't done a lot of things because I've been holding back. I've been holding myself back just because I've always think of the shoulda, woulda, couldas, or what can happen and all that. And I'm not trying to do that anymore. I'm really trying to, like 2020 taught me a lot about myself. And I feel like I might do a video kind of recap of just the different things I've been learning this year. So I'll probably do that too. But like I said, I'm not trying to make this intro be that long. So that's all I had to say. And I'll be back. All right, I'm back. <laughs> I've got my ring on. So basically, um, this video is going to be a fashion overhaul and kind of a try on. And, uh, I did some shopping for my birthday. My birthday was, well, it kind of depends on when I upload this video. What's today? The uh, 16th, I think. My birthday was the 2nd, so 
it's been like two weeks. I ordered me some stuff from Fashion Nova because I'm also, well, I'm trying to figure out how to like express myself and kind of get into my personality a bit. I went and did some shopping for some clothes and stuff and there was a sale going on because really I'm only doing Christmas shopping for two people and they already know what they're going to get and it's not that expensive. So I figured I'd do myself a little birthday Christmas type thing because I'm sa trying to save money, but it's also like my parents, I'm still going to take care of them. And as my friends understand, it's going to be one of them years where it's like we're not really worried about it, you know? Yeah, I bought some stuff from Fashion Nova, and I was talking to one of my friends, and uh, I was telling her, I was like, you know, I feel like I should maybe do like a little try on haul, a little, um, a little, at least, you know, try it out, you know, see how that goes. I'm not really trying to make this a thing that I do, like, all the time, because I don't really buy enough stuff like that. Like, my mom's been trying to get me to become an Amazon affiliate. And I could start like using links to figures. So I was thinking if I maybe buy a couple figures or something, maybe I'll do a thing for that too. I think I might be able to do that with Fashion Nova at least. Maybe kind of like link the stuff down below because it's not sponsored. So it's not like I'm going to get any sponsorship for it. But anyway, this is the bag. I don't really remember how many items I've bought. I know I bought some jeans, some shirts, some uh, some skull caps, and also want to do a warning. Uh, none of my videos that I've uploaded or ever uploaded are child friendly. At least I would tell YouTube they're not because it's not like I cuss, but I'm not trying to get like, if I do decide one day to do ads, I'm not trying to get well, this is kid friendly, so nobody can even look at it. And then they put it in a, another bag. So. But I say that because uh, the some of the clothes and skull caps I got have uh, the F word <laughs> on it. And I'm not going to personally say it because, as you can see, I'm still in my parents' house. So uh, I'm not trying to get cussed out. <laughs> What is this? This is one of the pairs of pants. And I also bought new clothes because I've been losing weight. So my clothes don't necessarily fit well. So I'm going to tell you what I bought and what size. Like this, these are the navy Mac Chino pants. I bought them in a size 34 because... I normally wear, I think I used to wear 32, but 32 is kind of tight. So I usually go to 34. 36 is kind of too much. And then you know a Fashion Nova, they're automatically like a little skinnier depending on what you get. So it's like, I'm not really healthy. Like my legs are kind of skinny. Like my legs and my arms are skinny. So it's like, I'm not big, but it's just after kind of have to account for that because I bought stuff that I thought were my size, but they were slim fit and they still fit, but it's just tight. Like this is, <laughs> so I bought Navy Mac Chino and then I bought black Mac Chino. I bought this in size 34 too. I think all the jeans I bought, these are, it's a two pack beanie set. So it's like a black and a green one. And then I bought another one that says daddy cause I'm, my confidence is soaring. I'm, once my confidence get up, hide your girlfriends. <laughs> Let's stop. This one is the uh, follow the vibe distressed skinny jean. Like this, I bought this in the 34, but it's a skinny jean. So we're going to see if that fit. And then another size 34, the Cornell slim jeans. Bought these in 34. I'm really, I'm not going to say I'm really worried because like I can fit the clothes, but I'm more concerned about how they're gonna look. Like, are they gonna be too tight or what? Right, this is the shirt. This is the No F's Given shirt. It's a, I got it in medium. And I wear, for shirts, I wear medium or uh, large. <clears throat> I normally get medium, but this shirt is a medium and you see how it fits my arms. Well, 
biceps. So I normally get large sometimes. This is the uh, Destiny is Mine Bikers. They, <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna get sponsored by Fashion Nova or anything. So I'm not gonna say nothing, but the the titles that they have for their clothes is kind of, But um yeah, Destiny is mine. Biker skinny jean, also size thirty four. I bought a pair of khakis, or as Fashion Nova calls them, Summer Games cargo pants. I bought this in a size thirty four because you know I need some variety. I got I only got jeans to be honest with you because my job allows us to wear jeans. Because I used to wear a lot of black pants when I was working at Wendy's. And I only got two pairs of black pants because I don't really need them. I got one pair of khakis. I have a camouflage um, pant. I have a pair of camouflage pants. It got so many belt loops and stuff on there. It's crazy. This is <clears throat> the thigh is free. Thigh is free <laughs> skinny jean. Also a size 34. And then the last thing, which I honestly forgot I even bought this, it is a Tupac California Love short sleeve tee. And I bought this in the large just because I feel like certain shirts you can wear in the large and they'd be like, they'll look better. Like my Street Fighter shirt that I got from Fashion Nova, I should have got in a medium because that large is kind of thick. So this is the stuff that I got. I'm gonna keep this so if I do end up linking the stuff in the the comments, I can go ahead and show you. I can go ahead and put it in there with accuracy. This is a little book. Free two day shipping. Order by twelve nineteen to receive your orders by twelve twenty four. I've done enough shopping already. How to return? I don't need to return nothing. Cause even if it didn't fit me right, I I don't return clothes. Like, me and my mom have a thing where it's like, if it don't fit, we're just going to have to deal with it. <laughs> we'll give it to Thrifty, but we're not returning it. I think this is just like a little kind of like a little book. It's like little Christmas stuff. I'm not going to lie. You know, the I'm not too sure about the models of Fashion Nova, like how they are. This also, um, yeah, this this is not for kids, but Fashion Nova got some 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 good looking female models or should I, I don't know. People don't like the word female. So I'm not going to say female models. I'm going to say women. They have some good looking women like this. They Instagram models, but they look good. And they even have like a fashion over eggs, Megan the stallion type thing. I forgot that they was doing that. That's the one thing about fashion over. It's like, they don't, it's mostly for, for women. Like you, if you think fashion over, like you, we, we get a little section after like what? <laughs> it took twenty two pages for the men to get a section. It's like some some nice stuff like a puffer jacket, and they they sports, you know they huh? not like a woman in sweatpants. But anyway, <laughs> so yeah, that's the. That's the clothes, and I'm going to, maybe I should open them up. Yeah, that's probably smart, so I'm going to just go ahead and open them up that way you can see a full look at it, and then I'm going to, like, try them on. I've seen, like, I watch women do try on hauls, um... For research and i've noticed that they do like a they can do like a side by side where it's like a video of them talking about whatever they're wearing i'm not that creative yet so i'm gonna just i'm gonna show you what it is <laughs> yeah it smell like packaging i'm gonna show you what it is and then i'm gonna try it on i think i got enough i got more pants than i got shirts and stuff so i'm gonna have to figure out outfits where i can put where the clothes and where the I need to figure out outfits to put with the jeans or I might just wear the, the same couple shirts and switch it up a little bit these are the which one of these these are the thought is free 
kind of distressed. I'm not really big on distressed jeans, per se. But, you know, I rock I rocks with them. Only thing I don't like about them is the, uh, well, the other distressed jeans that I got. It's like right here on the thigh. And if you don't wear long enough underwear, your thigh going to be showing. And I feel like a little whore. But, you know, you know, there ain't nothing wrong with a little bit of thigh meat. This is the cargo pants, which I'm not going to lie. I don't think I'm going to like how these fit on me. Because they give me very much uh, construction worker vibes. And, you know, I could be a hot construction worker, but that wasn't what I was going for with them. Of course, my other khaki is pretty much like the same, so I don't know what I'm talking about. Let's see. Destiny is mine. I don't really understand this. And I know you'd be like, but you bought it. Um, I'm not going to lie to you. I just kind of looked at jeans like i said there was a sale they were cheap so i was just like hey i need more jeans in my life hopefully ones that fit properly and i bought some skull caps just because you know if i'm gonna rock this and this i'm in south carolina it's cold like my nigga it's cold <laughs> oh does, does youtube what i don't get monetized anyway <laughs> be like you your video will not get monetized because you said nigga i'm not monetized anyway I just do it because I want to. See, it says, do I look like I give an F on the front in a little pocket space? And then it says it again on the back. I ain't going to lie. I was kind of angry when I bought this shirt. So you can see you can see the same thing when you see the two of the skull caps I got. This one is the Cornell Slim in a light blue wash. It's very bright. It's giving me very much box, like, very much box. And then we have the Follow the Vibe, Distressed. So, now the thing about distressed jeans, there's certain levels of distress that are cool. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about my knee being exposed. I definitely couldn't wear this to work. I could get away with the other distressed jeans because, like I said, it's right there on the thigh. This is on the knee. I don't know. I could probably get away with it. I mean, what are they going to do? Fire me? It's not like I want to be here anyway. This is the... <laughs> da -da Can I have a skull cap? It's a daddy skull cap. I'm not going to lie. My head kind of big, so I feel like once I put it on, let me let me just try. Let me give you a quick try on. Yeah. I feel like, you know when babies, when they get their little hat, their little first outfit when they get out the um out, what what's at the hospital? Or when they in their little obviously don't know what I'm talking about, but it's like a little bump it. It look I feel like a baby wearing this hat. Like this hat, they say one size fits all, but I got a big head. But it's decent. It's straight. I rocks with it. I probably wear it uh, more. Now these seem like the same size, if not a little thicker. But these ones say F off. And they, they're both attached to each other. And since I don't have scissors on me right now, I'm just kind of... Yeah, I don't know. I'm not very, I'm not very, I'm not a very colorful person. So it's going to take me some time to get used to wearing more colors, which is another thing I'm trying to kind of like step out of my comfort zone with is experimenting with style. You know, you got to add a little pizzazz to your life. If you ain't doing that, you ain't really living. I thought these was already folded. These are the... Black with these Chino Mac Chino pants. It's basically, it's giving me the vibe that I was expecting to get out of them. And then this is the Navy Mac Chino pants, which is pretty much just like, Navy is pretty much just like lighter black in a sense 
So I kind of just, you know, just a little, little spice to it. But anyway, I'm gonna go, uh, I'm gonna go throw this stuff away, you know, clean my room up a little bit. And then I'm gonna work on how I'm gonna style these outfits. So I'm gonna be back. I know you're gonna hear Teen Titans in the background, but you know what I noticed? This doesn't even say anything. Now, keep in mind, these was a two pack now. This one says F off. This one just told me to F off without even saying anything. I see why it's a two pack and it was on sale. But that's all I want to say. Now I'm going to put these outfits together. Oh. <laughs> so originally, I wasn't going to do a full outfit outfit. I was just going to do pants, shirt. But then I decided to... I'm really about to make this a whole photo shoot. So I got the whole uh, outfits and stuff together. Which means now is the try on part. Let me just fix that up. And honestly, I might do this the long way. That way you can actually see the outfit and everything. It is recording, right? Yeah, it is. Okay. So I'll probably do it like this. I'm also going to be taking pictures like this too. That way you can see everything. I probably need to bring it down some so you can see my shoes too. And you're going to notice I dress like a... I haven't mastered the way of the drip yet. So my outfit is probably going to be a little basic. But it is what it is. So I'm going to just go ahead and... Yeah, let me just... Uh... Oh, I forgot to put the whole... the. All right, so this is the first outfit. I'm kind of, I'm kind of rocking with it. Now these pants, they are kind of tight, like kind of tight. Now it's kind of weird, you know. Most people aren't used to seeing straight men show off their assets, but I'm comfortable with my sexuality, you know. I feel like that's part of being confident with yourself. You know you look good and you know where you look good at. That's all it is. Um, <laughs> See how long that confidence lasts going in this year. Yeah, pants kind of tight, like right here, obviously. I was thinking of pairing it with a belt. And I probably would, like if I wear it out, I wear a belt. But I don't know. I like it. Pockets right here. I rolled up, I rolled up the pants legs because they kind of, kind of long. But you got two pockets right here. You got two pockets and then another pocket right here. You got two pockets right here. And yeah, I paired these with a basic like gray Nikes because normally when I wear khakis, I normally will wear like something gray to go along with it. And obviously I put the this together because it goes with the green of the, what did it say? Tupac Shakur, it goes with the green and Tupac Shakur. So I figured it. And like this, like I said, this is a large and this one fits fine because normally I'd either do a large or a medium. Like I think the, do I look like I give an F shirt is a medium. So we'll see how that fits. And now I'm about to take some pictures. Boy, <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you how I started sweating trying to put these pants on. <laughs> Woo, child. Uh, I feel like if I just stand perfectly still, everything will be fine. <sighs> but now that I got them on, I feel like I done broke them in. I can, uh, uh. <laughs> Yeah, these, these tight. I don't remember which pair of pants these are, but like they look, they look good. Like I feel like I can model in them or whatever, but. <laughs> yeah, 
And this, like I said, this shirt is a medium, so it's a little tighter than the Tupac shirt, but it ain't that bad. And this, honestly, I'm rocking with the look. If these pants just weren't so tight, I think it'd be good. And then, uh, like I said, on the back, it says it too. I think you, you know, you see it. But yeah, I like this one. I like this outfit a little more than I like the first one. Like the first one was good, but I'm kind of weird in the sense that I like tight clothes. Like I like tight pants in the sense because I feel like it fits my form better. I like anything that's, I'm not gonna say anything that's form fitting, but I like it if it can fit me better, you know, show off my body. Cause once I, I'm telling you, once I start toning up, I've been saying that for like two years now. But once I start toning up for real, and you know, I get, get right, they gonna be able to tell me nothing. But anyway, this is the, this is the other look. This is hat. Obviously this was a no brainer to put this with this, even the colors match. So yeah, now I'm gonna start taking some pictures and get out of these pants as soon as possible. Cause you know, they good. And I'll probably be able to wear them all day eventually, but not today. I'm already sweating. Not gonna lie. I think this outfit I'm feeling the least right now. I think it's because of the shirt. Like the vibes it was giving me was giving me like how I used to dress in middle school. Like this is very much punk rock. Kind of like I, I should have a skateboard, I feel like. Because I basically dressed like a skater boy that didn't skate when I was in middle school, to be honest with you. What I didn't notice about these pants was the fact that this is like a kind of a false patch. Like it's still, you see, it's still jean in there, whereas this one is actually the knee missing. It's very, another thing I don't really like about distressed jeans is like they get distressed right here. So you got pockets, but I feel like something could fall out, which you can see right here, there's material behind it. So it wouldn't fall out. Well, this one is open because my underwear's right there. But, you know, it's material where it matters. I mean, I don't know why they put material right here. This shirt obviously isn't from Fashion Nova. This is something I got from Goodwill. But this is the pants. The shoes that I picked for these, just kind of some random. They got a little bit of red and black to them. Red and black is kind of like my, well, definitely black. Black and anything is basically like my go-to colors. So I felt, I felt like it fit like this, these jeans was just giving me very much red tint to them. So yeah, the stress everywhere. I know I showed the pockets for the other pants, but it's basically like these jeans are just basic. So are the other jeans, basic pockets, two in the front, two in the back. These ones aren't as tight as the other ones that I wore, but the problem is with <laughs> the knee exposed, I'm not really gonna have many places to wear this, but I don't know. I was trying something different. I like them. I just, I don't know. I'm not, compared to the last two fits that I had, I'm not feeling this one too much. It's getting a little dark, so I had to turn my lamp on. That's why you see the, the light being the way it is. But first of all, shout out to my big dog, Lauren. She got me this shirt last year. And these are, well, you can't really tell because of the light now, but these are the Navy Mac Chino pants. They're not as tight as the other pants that I've worn, but they're definitely, it's like kind of like right up here instead of right down here is where the, the tightness kind of is. But I think this is a pretty good look. I feel like the shoes definitely match. They're basically kind of like Navy with a, a hint of red, like it's red on the inside. So that kind of goes with the shirt. Yeah, I like this one. It's, it's pretty simple. I feel like I can dress. I just don't feel like I inspire much, you know? It's like, you know, he, he look good, but he don't go over the top because that's just not for me. I forgot that I was going to put this with the fit too. I mean, it's kind of bright for the red, but none of the other outfits that I got really uh inspire too much confidence with the colors because this is honestly the brightest thing I've worn. So, but yeah, this is the, the hat. This is the one I'm wearing the most. All right. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. These are the same pants. At least they're supposed to be the same pants. 
as the pants I just wore. But these pants are tight. <laughs> I'm wearing this shirt because, you know, I represented Tupac. Got to represent Biggie. I, personally, I'm more of a fan of Biggie just because he got stuff you can jam to. Like, I feel like Tupac, he had jams. But he also, I don't really listen to Tupac like that. I bought the shirt. It looked nice. It's cool. I mess with him. But Biggie is the person I would probably listen to over anything. Not that you asked. <laughs> but I'm wearing this shirt, like I said, to represent both sides. These are the black Mac Chino pants. I'm wearing the same shoes just because I felt like the it kind of fit black red. I was, when I was younger, shoot, even now, kind of, like, I'm just now really getting into colors, but I was always a black-on-black -black type kid, so I was goth, I'm not gonna lie, you know, put some eyeliner on, I basically would have been a, a goth child, so I relate to a lot of, like, stuff like this, plus I was depressed, <laughs> but I like, I like this, it's simple for me, it's something I could just throw on, don't really feel like too much, it, it looked good to me. So that's how many ever outfits down and two more to go. All right, this is the second to last outfit. Now this shirt I actually got from Fashion Nova like a while ago. It's basically just Goku and Vegeta, you know, chill. I didn't even know they sold like anime based shirts, which I should have known. They kind of appeal to really anybody. These are the last, well, second to last pair of jeans. These are more distressed. It's like, they're not necessarily as distressed as the other jeans that I've worn. So it's not bad. It looks fine. You can tell it's been kind of a long day. It's starting to get to that point. <laughs> I've been eating all day because I went to take my driving class, walked home, took a shower, and then basically been getting ready to do this all day. And I think I started at... Mm, Two o'clock, maybe it's about to be five o'clock. I don't know me too, but anyway, I am. I'm showing my mom my outfits because it's basically it's tradition for me and her. When I was younger, I used to get new clothes, and she would have me like try them on. Which you would think doing that, I would be a natural at this, <laughs> but she was saying. You know, just like you need new shoes because some of them shoes are kind of like old or not necessarily up to standard. And I was thinking about it with these shoes, I, but I I think these shoes kind of fit. There's something about thick shoes that goes with pants that's kind of like the legs are kind of long on the pants. I feel like shoving them in thick shoes, you can't really tell too much. Like you can tell, obviously, I didn't try, but... I don't know. I'm digging it. It's giving me kind of futuristic type kid. And I realize my legs are like, like when I, I was taking pictures of the different outfits and I stand like this, I feel my legs kind of, my feet all the way over here and stuff. So if I ever do end up becoming a model, I really got to work on how I pose because this ain't it. But on to the last one. All right. This is the last outfit these jeans pretty interesting they got zippers right here for some reason ain't no pockets it's just zippers i guess for the looks but it's pockets right here then like normal pockets just a normal pair of pants then you can see the distress it runs down here Kind of runs right here, down here too. Now, really, this is pretty much the most basic of outfits that I would wear. You know, just throw a shirt like this on, blue jeans, pair of Converse's collar today. But I like these. Overall, I feel like my experience with Fashion Nova has been pretty decent from the stuff that I bought before. Just because, you know, it fits. It's something new for me to try out. <coughs> And they're not bad. Like, they don't look bad. Like, I can, if I actually went outside and did social activities, I would, I would wear their clothes. 
and mixing it up with like regular stuff like this is just it's pretty interesting like i said i'm not really like a i'm not really a fashion person i just kind of put together what i feel is right so i'm basically just giving myself more options so yeah <laughs> not even gonna lie to you i almost forgot to film my outro but yeah um that's basically my first try on haul that I've ever done. And like I was saying, in between like shots and stuff, I feel like I could do this. Like I said, um, I'm really trying to focus on my confidence. Take these socks. Well, no, let me. It's kind of cold. Um, but I'm trying to focus more on my confidence and, you know, being more myself for myself like i'm not trying to be anything other than who i am going after what i want in life knowing what i want going after it not really not really not letting anything else interfere like that's what i'm working on that's what i've been basically that's the vibe i've been getting from life is focus on yourself and do th what works for you so like i said this was kind of like a little experiment uh even if you know it doesn't really gain much traction i still had a little bit of fun doing this obviously if i would have ate <laughs> i would probably be in better spirits like i'm not i'm not bad like i don't feel like this was a failed effort or anything like i it, like i said even if it doesn't get any traction this is good for me i feel confident or more confident and I really feel like you know I told my mom I was like I feel like I can put outfits together I just don't go outside <laughs> to really like test it out so who knows maybe once Rona goes around or maybe maybe I don't know Rona probably gonna be here for a while the way people shoot the way people walk into my job and the way people are in in the world probably be here for a little minute but maybe Maybe I'll start going places, go outside, actually experiment. Cause you know, work, I kind of just throw on a shirt and some jeans and call it a day. It's like low key, kind of like, I kind of put this together, but it's also like, it doesn't really matter. So, you know, I want to start feeling like what I do in my life matters. And maybe i'll start giving myself some purpose by just trying out different clothes going out seeing the reception of it interacting and mingling with people and whatnot you know being a normal human for once because yeah lord knows social interaction has not been my strongest suit but anyway the i like what i got from fashion Nova. some clothes were tight but i'm still gonna keep them i'm probably gonna clean out my closet a little bit get rid of some stuff that i know i'm not gonna wear again and who knows, maybe I'll end up doing something like this again. I might end up doing like a little figure thing. Maybe I'll buy some figures in the coming months and do like a haul on that, see how that goes. Cause I, I haven't done those in a while. Maybe I'll upload some, some video games or something. I kind of been thinking about Twitch because um, the way I play games, unless it's a straight shot, forward uh i'm not gonna complete them in a like a playthrough or walkthrough that's why the walking dead i figured i put that on the channel because it's like there's a pretty much a clear way to go like even if there's branching paths it's like it's still a, a direct thing like resident evil for example i've been playing resident evil 2 remake um i like that game and i'm actually making progress on it each time i play it's just how I make progress. It's kind of like, I don't think people will like watching that because not watch like watching that in the uh, edited sense. Like I'm pretty sure. Well, I don't know y'all can't really gain no reception. Y'all don't say nothing about my game. Videos. I'm just saying, but I feel like people would like watching me play games. If, especially if I get like a face cam, you can see my face and how I react to things. The only problem is me actually making progress towards games. So I feel like if I got on Twitch and I played like Resident Evil on there, like I just stream that, I feel like that would be more enjoyable than me trying to like edit it down and play it through a walkthrough. Cause I'm not the walkthrough type. Well, I'm not the walk through. I'm not a walkthrough type of person. 
because like I said, unless it's clear shot, um, it's going to take a little minute, especially with my schedule, the way I'd be working. I don't really have enough time to play games consistently enough unless I make time. But anyway, I digress. I, I like doing this. I feel like it was good. I feel like the outfits work, even though there was one or two that I wasn't too confident in, like this style wise, but overall this was a good experience. I'm glad that I tried it. Now the editing is gonna be the only thing. Uh, I am gonna post pictures on Instagram. Those pictures on Instagram will probably be up before um, I end up editing this video. We'll see, depending on how I do it, cause I'm about to go eat. So that's for facts. <laughs> But yeah, maybe I'll end up doing a different type of video. I'm still considering doing the um the basically kind of like a what I learned this year type thing. Cause believe it or not, 2020 is about to end. It seemed like it never would. Lord knows. But two weeks is it's done. Poof, we're in 2021. Well yeah, that's it for this video. You no know, like if you like, comment, subscribe. Uh, I haven't really looked at my channel, so I'm pretty sure I'm at the same number of subscribers. I'm surprised y'all didn't unsubscribe because Lord knows it takes me forever to upload a video. I appreciate y'all. Um, any new subscribers that happen to make it to the end of this video because I talk a lot, if you didn't notice by now. <laughs> Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching. Uh, tell me what your favorite outfit was. I'll post my Instagram either in the video or um, in the comments so you can see the pictures, see what I actually decided to put on there. And yeah, that's it. I'm out.